Hello and welcome here from Schiltach. Today we want to present you all about our new Vega Pulse 6X. My name is Florian Burgert and I'm the product manager for continuous level measurement from Vega. Let me introduce from my side. My name is Jens Kowaisa. I'm also a product manager for the continuous level measurement and of course also mainly the radar devices. So let's start with the presentation. The Vega Pulse 6X as the very beginning is the application. And that is where you are at home, in the application. So you have different applications, chemical reactors, level measurement in a bazaar, ship applications, or maybe in a paper industry or food and pharma applications. And the application is the main point for all our measurement. We solved the last years, the last 30 years, a lot of radar level applications and we, meanwhile, we have a lot of experience with all our sensors in your application. The last year it was the point where we sold the 1 million radar sensor. And with 1 million radar sensors we have 1 million certified customer with our radar devices. And for sure there's a lot of experience out of all the applications. Which devices did we have to sell one million radar sensor. Most of you know the Vega Pulse 60 series. It starts at the Vega Pulse 61, 62, 63, you know it, and it ends at the end at the Vega Pulse 69, the radar sensor for continuous level measurement for spark solid applications. It's great to have this complete bench of radar sensors because we have the complete range and we have all the necessary applications and we have the um, necessary versions. But there is one difference, which is the right sensor. The selection is not, good, not really easy. So with the experience we have since many years, since 30 years, we have the possibility to make the choice for the customer for your application much easier. So we turn the radar technology upside down and had a look on a complete new way to select the right sensor. To do it easier and of course also more safe. So the application is focus, in focus of the sensor and we are very proud to present the Vega Pulse 6X, one radar level sensor for all applications. The Vega Pulse 6X measures liquids and bulk solids all in one sensor. And with experience in the last few years, we have sometimes we need different frequencies, but this sensor covers all frequencies. So we have different electronic versions for all applications, but they are also together in one sensor. So we can have a frequency range of 80 gigahertz, which covers the main part of the applications, but sometimes it makes sense to use also 26 or even 6 gigahertz. So it's application orientated. And now it's easy. It's only one sensor and you can solve all your level applications. The question is now how can you find the right sensor for your application? Let's make an example with our website. In the past, when you go to our website, you found 10 different sensors. Only differentiation with maybe process temperature and something um, in detail. Now you find the Vega Pulse 6X, your sensor for all continuous radar level sensor level measurement. It's not a chance between, level, uh, between liquid and solids. It's a, a big or small vessels. You have all the time the Vega Pulse 6X. It's easy because it's all the time one sensor and then you decide the application. When you decide the application, out of our experience, we select all the necessary process connections and antenna systems for you. You have just to pick your white one. Then you have the chance to pick the electronic, the hard electronic, Profibus PA electronic for example. 
And in the last step, you can select the Blix housing. They are still the same, single chamber, double chamber, with a display or without. And with all this configuration at the end, you have your defined Vega Pulse 6X level measurement sensor. So it's one sensor for all applications. But let's have a look inside of the sensor. Let's take a flight inside of the sensor and have a closer look how inside everything is designed and what are the key features of the sensor. Of course, we need special process connections. We need special high chemical resistance process connection according to your application. Depends where you want the sensor on your application. We have different housing concepts, stainless steel, plastic housing, aluminum housing, according to your requirements. And of course, below the display, we have the complete electronic. The requirements of display uh, on the electronic always increase, so we have to do vibration tests, we have to do electromagnetic noise tests, and so on. And inside of the electronic, we have our heart. This is our new microwave chip. This new microwave chip generates signals, electromagnetic signals, and they are transmitted by this integrated antenna system. The signals going to the product surface and are reflected there if you have liquids or if you have bulk solids, independent. So we can measure both uh, medias, liquids, or bulk solids. Signals coming back to the receiver, to the same channel, to the same antenna system, to the microwave module, and later on in the microprocessor, we calculate the distance, and out of this, we can show the level. So, incomplete, a complete new system, complete electronic, complete new electronic, complete new antenna design, and the key, of course, is our new microwave chip. Let's go a little bit deeper inside of the sensor. The key at the the main product, the heart of our sensor, is the radar chip. The radar chip of the second generation. All the experience of the last years with 80 GHz is in that new radar chip. This radar chip is developed here in Schiltach. Our engineers take care for this radar chip. During the development, they have to build their own radar chip step by step. So when we see here one of our engineers he will mount now the radar chip on a small layer and he will bond a small gold um, wire from the chip to this blade. That's necessary to make the contact between the very small radar chip and the antenna, for example. This is very precise and he has to check this step again. Here you can see how they check the radar chip and how the bonds between the chip and the small layer is, um, is running smooth, is the process good. That is only one example for the development. Each step we make the development, the engineers check what they did. That is the main thing that in the end you have a very good um, device and the quality of the device is quite good when we bring it to the market. So that's our main thing. We do it our own and we check it really, really carefully. With this new radar chip, we have new possibilities because the performance is really outstanding. So we thought about also the adjustment of the sensor. So let's have a look what we could change in the adjustment of the sensor and how we could make it much easier than before. Because we get a better performance of the instrument, we don't have to make such a big setup. So in the past, we had up to 15 parameters and four different pages where you have to adjust all different things. A lot of uh, these parameters are not necessary anymore because the performance is increasing and the dynamic range of the sensor is outstanding. So why should we ask for the medium anymore? We can measure all medias. It's not necessary to ask which kind of media do you have in your application during the adjustment. And also the focusing of 80 gigahertz is perfect. So a lot of parameters we don't need anymore. So we could skip a lot of adjustment parts and make it easier. At the end, we have just one handful of parameters to make the full adjustment of the radar sensor. And we have another benefit. During the configuration of the sensor, we have the possibility to do the setup. So we can set up your full and empty adjustment. You can se select what kind of product you have, bulk solids or liquids, and you get a sensor completely adjusted, delivered. 
And only what you have to do is to wire the sensor, power the sensor, and that's all. And then you have to do no additional adjustment. And this is really easy. So that was the section of the radar chip. Let's go a little bit more into the electronic. On that slide, we have the electronic and the microcontroller is on this radar, uh, on this um, electronic. In the last years, we get a lot of questions. Why do you have an 80 gigahertz sensor and you do not have seal? The reason was we started very early with the 80 gigahertz technology. And we want to make sure that we have the technology and the application know-how with that. But because only when you have the application know-how and the, 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 the knowledge of the 80 gigahertz technology, then you can build a real safe seal sensor with 80 gigahertz. To prove that, you can look at our seal numbers and you will see they are really, really good. Why is it like that? Our radar sensor, the Vega Pulse 6X, is developed from the hardware and the software completely from the very beginning regarding the SEAL IEC 61508 standard. But we are sure that all is developed and checked regarding this standard from the software side and the hardware side. One of the main points of the Vega PAL 6X is to make it easy for you as our customer. That's why we decide to make a setup and commission assistant for the setup and commissioning of safe application to be sure that the sensor fits perfectly to your application when you mount it on your, on your application and make the complete setup so that both works perfectly together. When you do it, then you will have the first step, the, uh, the verify and lock. That is the first step and you do have to do it with all seal devices because only when it's verified and locked, the seal is valid. The next step is the application. The sensor will ask you a lot of questions regarding your application. And the sensor learns then something about your application. The sensor itself gives then the information to you how you have to run the setup and commission. To run the, the complete instrumentation. I will go into that point a little bit later. The last step is then you will get a proper documentation with the result is it good or bad? And you will get this at a PDF where you can print or bring it to your database that you have a proper documentation that will come all out of this setup and commission assistant. Let's go a little bit deeper into how you have to, it, to make it. Out of your question, the sensor will define, is it an easy application, let's say a normal application or a very special application? When it's a standard application, an easy application, then you can do the setup without any level inside of the tank. So you can do it with an empty tank. When it's a middle application, then you can go to setup with just a const constant level and you do not have to change the level. When it's a very special application, then for sure you have to do a wet test for a minimum and maximum. That is also possible or when you have the complete um, range, then you can go step by step um, to, the, to your level and you have to change it because the sensor wants to see the change of the level. When you go with no level or with a constant level, then the sensor will do an internal calculation. The sensor will look on the, all the signals, look how good the signal is, and the sensor itself can calculate out of our experience is this signal good enough that he can monitor the level over the complete range? He will decide is that a good application with running smooth and running safe. If the sensor decides yes, it's a safe application, then you will get your protocol and all is fine. When you have and this application, the signal is not good, he will give you the information, please do a something change in the application or please um, go for a wet test where you can change the level and then you will also have a very safe application. So all, when you have all done, then it's a safe application. The sensor is developed regarding SEAL. The application has a setup and the sensor is perfectly fit for your application. So you have real safe application. The question is now, is it really 
nur only the application to make it safe? Of course. The question is, what about cybersecurity? We have developed the sensor according all seal regulations, but what about cybersecurity? Is something which is more important in the future? Imagine, in the past we had an analog output signal from the sensor. Of course, we still have an analog output sensor, and this is connected to a PLC system. But more and more a digital communication is used. So a sensor has also a hard protocol, or if you have a uh, a bus system, Proviobus PA or Foundation Field Bus, or any new uh, digital communication. So it's a digital communication between sensor and uh, operating technology. But in addition, more and more sensors have the possibility to make adjustment wireless, via Bluetooth for example. So more and more digital communication between sensor and the outside part is available. So we have to take care about also cybersecurity. So we have a network when also the sensors are included. So this gives the possibility that you have a cyber attack from outside. And imagine you are working in a, in a critical infrastructure, not only the water and wastewater industry, also some pharmaceutical industries or some um, gas industries, uh, offshore industries and so on. So it's critical if you have been attacked from outside. So we have to make sure that in the future all the sensor takes care about any security things that there is no possibility to get an attack from outside. In the last few years, a new possibility, a new norm, IEC 62443 is coming up, which take care about all the things. So this norm stands for cybersecurity, IT security. So plant manufacturers, plant operators, and component manufacturers like Vega take care about their own part and give a complete safety about the complete system. So we started to develop the sensor according to this new ICE. So it's not possible to do it just afterwards when you have finished the sensor. You have to do it from the beginning to take care about all security items when you start this new development. So the Vega Pulse 6X is the first sensor, first radar sensor which covers SEAL, and of course also cybersecurity and this complete safety package. So it just makes the safety for your plant much better and uh, lift it in a different uh, level. Very important. Especially today, it's important to have safety and security in the sensor that you can be sure that your plant is running smooth. And that is both implemented in the Vega Pulse 6X. Let's have a second view in our, in our um, heart of the sensor, the radar chip. The radar chip is new, it's developed and has an outstanding performance. And we, as we said in the beginning, we do not only develop it, we also check it. Jürgen, how do we check it? Yeah, that's very important and it's the easiest way to show you in a small video. So we have a new test rig where we install the sensor, where we mount the sensor and could do the test during the production and during the development. So if we mount the sensor on a small flange with different sizes possible and in the background you can see our special sun reflector to avoid any additional reflections from the edge of the reflector and then we move our target in different steps. So with this new test rig we have the possibility to use a distance up to 50 meter and check the accuracy of the sensor in different distances. So we have now the possibility to go really up to 50 meters with a very high accuracy. But not only the distance measurement is important, we also can measure the, the sensitivity of the sensor. Therefore we have a very small reflector, just a small ball, and this gives a very bad reflection like products we don't have in the industry. And the distance what we can measure, we check with a laser beam, with a laser interferometer, with accuracy of just 20 micrometers. So very important to have a very interesting test trick, to test similar like on the real application with different products, oil products, or also different bulk solids. So this gives us the possibility to measure the accuracy and the sensitivity and compare it to applications what we have on site. 
But let's have a look that on, on a practical application, we want to show you some practical things outside on our uh, exhibition room. And there we have different models. So welcome to our exhibition area where we have different models where we can explain a little bit more what kind of different possibilities mm -hmm. we have with the Vega Pulse 6X. Yeah, can we listen? So here we have the mounted the Vega Pulse 6X the on the different the small of, tanks. Kind of also when we have a lot of yeah. materials inside, we have the possibility to measure, measure uh, through these uh, materials inside this uh, uh, mechanical part inside because we have a very good focusing. Here we have mounted a sensor on a long standoff, a nozzle. Even here we don't get any disturbance. And also on small tanks it's possible to mount a sensor, small liquid tanks like oil or like some pharmaceutical products. These are liquid applications, but of course we have also the possibility to mount a sensor on bulk solid application because it's really universal. In this case we have mounted a sensor on a styrofoam tank, I just switch on the product surface a little bit, so we have a strong fluctuation of this very light product, but still here it's possible to measure even when we have very bad reflecting conditions. Because we have such a high sensitivity of this new microwave chip, it's possible to use the sensor very universal, of course, on stones, on sand, on cement, but also in this very light product like fibers and of course also these small styrofoam balls. Another application we have here, it's a reactor. We have, we have mounted a sensor again on a standoff and very interesting on a ball valve. So it's possible to separate the sensor from the internal part of the, the tank. So we have an agitator inside, we have here uh, mechanical parts inside. So the sensor is independent of any disturbance and we are, have a very reliable measurement even under these not perfect conditions. So the sensor works really everywhere. And let's have a closer look what kind of industrial applications we have. Florian, are you ready? I'm ready. Here I am in a solid application. It's very dusty. We have built up for the sensor. The Vega Pulse 6X can measure this solid applications, dust and buildups will not make anything in that application. The next application the Vega Pulse 6X is working in is the chemical industry. High temperatures, chemical resistant, X environment, the Vega Pulse 6X can work in that environment as well. The next I'm in is the ship industry. So there we have a lot of vibration, shocks and we have a high amount of electromagnetic fields. The Vega Pulse 6X can also work in that special applications on a ship. The next application and the next industry is the, ship, is the steel production. That is very hot. With special antennas, the Vega Pulse 6X is able to measure this special application as well. Last but not least, we have the hygienic industry, like the milk production here, like a diary. There, the hygienic is very important. We have special hygienic um, process connections. They are uh, cleanable via SIP and SIP, so it's also suitable to the pharmaceutical industry. So for all applications, for all kind of industries, we have the right solution with one sensor, the Vega Pulse 6X. The Vega Pulse 6X is very universal and can be used in all kind of industries. So here we are again in a bulk solid application where we have a lot of dusty atmosphere. We have a very strong filling, abrasive materials. So the sensor can withstand all these very rough conditions where we have different materials like here, dust and sand for example, but also cement or big stones, heavy stones, where we have a very abrasive material. Also liquid is not a problem for the radar Vega Pulse 6X. Here we can see oil, it's n but the Vega Pulse 6X can also measure water and, for example, petrol. We do not have to di differentiate between all these liquids. It's just liquids or solids. So quite easy to use 
with the Vega Pulse 6X. So the sensor is very universal, and of course, it's very easy for you as our customer, the end user. So it's very easy to use the sensors because we have put every experience that we have inside of the sensor, and so it's much easier than we had before. So Florian, let's summarize what we have seen today in the last half an hour. So the sensor can be very easy set up to the different applications. The Vega PAL 6X has the second generation of the radar chip. We have all seal availabilities. Also the IT security standards. And we have an outstanding dynamic range to measure all products. A very good band risk to measure very narrow signals. And we have solutions for the hygienic industry. The high pressure and the high temperature application. And of course, we have small process connections according to your applications. We can make the sensor very small to a lot of different applications. So we could see it's a very universal system. We just need one sensor for all applications and it's much easier than it was in the past. It's time now from our side to say thank you all of us for joining us. Thank you very much also from my side and hopefully we'll see us again in one of our next lessons. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.